host and civil rights attorney, and A.J. Swinson, New Journey's chief of staff. Welcome to both of you. Glad to see you. Okay, uh, this is one heck of a breach, Robert. Yeah, I mean, isn't it? This is like the mother load. Uh, absolutely. And I think it's confirmed what most Americans believed, which is that the richest people in this country do not contribute to uh, the uh, funding of our government. If you take someone like Jeff Bezos, who was flying into outer space next month on his Blue Origin spacecraft, he paid an effective tax rate of under 3 uh, percent. So along the lines of Elon Musk, whose space company SpaceX is doing regular flights to the International Space Station and carrying between Crew Dragon and the uh, and Cargo Dragon, making very regular trips. They're launching a spaceship about once a week, he's paid almost nothing in the federal income tax. The reason those two are significant is Elon Musk was just awarded a $2.9 billion contract to make Lunar Starship to be the lander for the Artemis program. So he's getting two, $3 billion of taxpayer money and paying no taxes. Jeff Bezos just well, went to but, the but Senate again, with $10 billion for Blue Origin, and he's paying no taxes either. But, AJ, we, we should point out, and I, as I did, that this is done legally. I mean, this is done legally. Not They're not illegal. They're not bad people for doing it. I mean, I don't know many people who write a check to pay extra tax when everybody has that right to do that if they wanted to. So what's your take on, on, uh, on what's going on here with this leak, AJ? Um, so the reality is it is true. The middle class is paying a higher tax rate than you could say the top is. But at the same time, what they're talking about is overall wealth. So if Bill Gates buys land, if he buys anything that has value, that adds to his wealth. Um, even if you look at progressive tax plans like Elizabeth Warren, she would charge people, uh, tax people, a certain amount, 2 to 3 percent if they make um, over a million dollars. So what would that add to the uh, federal budget? $200,000. So even a progressive plan, it's not really asking them to pay much more. I'm not against taxing richer people higher, but I don't think that it's going to cover the wish list that the left has as far as, no way. for example, by an infrastructure bill. No, you, you could tax the wealthiest people in this country 100 percent. It's been done. It's been I mean, it's been studied and it's been proven and it won't make a dent in, in, in some of these program proposals that the left wants. Now, the Wall Street Journal editorial board, they have a theory as to why this was done. Why now? Uh, it was done to help, says the editorial, uh, the Biden administration and the Democrats further the tax the rich agenda. Robert, again, whoever did this, it does seem well-timed because this is coming up right now uh, before the Congress. Well, let's understand the, the impasse that exists right now on the infrastructure bill, the crucially needed infrastructure bill, where we have lead and water, we have pipes in this country that have been around since the 19th century that need to be repaired. Our roads and bridges have D scores across the board. We need to be transitioning to an electric economy and to green energy. And the, what Republicans are saying is they don't want to tax these major corporations at 15 or 25 percent on capital gains, which is a ridiculous conversation. And then Mitch McConnell suggested we pay for it by taking money back from unemployed people who lost their jobs during COVID. So it's simply an issue of values of this country. Do you value infrastructure? Do you value building for the future? Do you value helping the middle class? Or do you want to have more tax cuts for millionaires and billionaires who already don't pay any tax at all? Republicans have shown that they have no interest in helping the middle class. It's only about making sure the millionaire and billionaire class pay absolutely no tax at all while still reaping the benefits of billions of wow. dollars of government subsidies. Okay. Well, AJ, uh, of course, I'll, I'll disagree with, with what Robert had to say. Uh, the Democrats don't want an infrastructure bill. They've redefined infrastructure, and they put in everything under the sun and have called it infrastructure. So, uh, but, but what about the timing of the, of the person who apparently broke the law to give this to the paper now? Uh, do you believe that it's uh, accidental, the timing, or no accident at all? Well, I, I, th I think it's definitely politically motivated. ProPublica put out a statement saying that, you know, they think it's in the public interest. And okay, if you think stealing information is in the public interest and that meets your journalistic standards, that's sad, but that's the state of the media today. Um, there were a lot of uh, talking points that were just dropped, and I do want to address that. First of all, Republicans wholeheartedly want to fix infrastructure, but Democrats are throwing in all their other wish lists, including uh, different aspects of raising health care workers' pay, uh, elder care. 
uh, all these different things that don't have to do with what he actually mentioned, roads, bridges, lead and pipes, things that have to actually do with energy and infrastructure. So there's a standstill there for that reason. And I, like I said, it, it's not necessarily a negative thing to maybe say, should we look at some of these deductions? Keep in mind that it's Democrats in 2019 that took away the salt cap, which caused Democrats in states with high tax rates to have to actually not be able to deduct so much from their taxes. It was Democrats that took that deduction away. So if Democrats are so poor taxing the rich, then why did they jump at preventing states from taxing the rich? Yeah, well, good, very good questions and, and good points. All right, I want to move on to two mayoral elections in, in the state of Texas that could say a lot about uh, not only the midterms uh, in that state, but across the country. Uh, Republicans won two key elections, one in McAllen, Texas, which is 85 percent Hispanic, and it's consistent with the problems that Joe Biden had with the Hispanic vote in parts of Texas. So what does this mean uh, as we head into 2022 and, and, and 2024, Robert? It means absolutely nothing. Uh, Republicans won two mayoral elections in a traditionally red state of Texas, and they're celebrating that. that I, I'm not quite sure what that says about the state of the Republican Party, but let's understand something. President Biden's approval ratings are over 60 percent right now. Uh, we've seen the success of the American Rescue Plan, if they're able to pass the uh, infrastructure deal, because we've seen Republicans have no interest in doing so, so they may have to do so through reconciliation. They've already agreed to reduce the price tag from $2.25 uh, trillion down to $1.7 trillion. So that cuts out uh, much of the, the quote unquote non-infrastructure okay. spending that Republicans complained about. And so what oh, this okay. means is Joe I, Biden I, I gotta, will be I gotta a move on. I, 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 I got to cut you short. I want to get AJ in here. AJ, um, to me, this does speak volumes. We've heard nothing but the, from the left except we're going to turn Texas uh, from, from uh, red to blue. And that ain't happening. 30 seconds. Exactly. I think, I think to overlook this would be a crime, honestly. The Democratic Party needs to look at what they're passing right now. There's a crisis at the border that Kamala continues to mishandle. She continues to lie. She continues not to visit. The people there that yep. are on the border are affected by yep. this, and that's going to cost Democrats in the upcoming election. That's I, the I lesson that she, the Democrats I, should be learning. I couldn't agree with you more. Robert Patillo and, uh, and uh, of course, A.J. Swinson, uh, thank you both.